If you are just tuning in, we want to update you on breaking news. In the last 30 minutes, investigators gave us a major update in the Faye Swetlick homicide case, including the name of the man they found near her. And they say the cases are connected. And reporter Greg Suskin joins us live. And Greg, as we were listening to that news conference, a few things really just stood out, that a critical piece of evidence was in the garbage and that investigators actually found Faye in a place that they'd already been earlier this week. Yeah, that's right. There's so many, still so many more questions to this and another very difficult day here in Casey just to hear from police still very full of emotion with what they've been through over the last several days. But at least we do have some answers to some very basic questions. We know that the man that was found, the body that was found yesterday is 30 year old Cody Taylor. As soon as uh, the officer was finished speaking, I asked the question, where were they found? And they didn't give too many specifics, but said that he was found inside his home, which is only about 150 feet away from where Faye Swetlick lived. And and that Faye's body was found in a little strip of woods, which is behind Napa Auto Parts and borders that neighborhood. It's a very small wooded area. They also gave us the indication that she had not been there for very long as well. Now, we don't know a whole lot today about Cody Taylor, except for the fact that he has no criminal record, was not known to law enforcement here in this area. But uh, we do want to go to a quick comment that one of the officers made when asked specifically about him and any connection to the family. Here's what he said. In our investigation, does link these two together. I can confirm that he was a neighbor, that he was not a relative, he was not a friend, he was merely a neighbor in, that lived in Churchill Heights. And I want to get back to that key piece of evidence for just a second, because as I was talking yesterday, we did see officers uh, in force in that neighborhood going up and down the street and blocking the neighborhood as well. We did uh, note at that time that they'd been going through some garbage cans. Yesterday was was trash day there. They noticed that people had put their their dumpsters out on the road and they said they found that key piece of evidence inside his dumpster, the dumpster that belonged to Cody Taylor. Now, they wouldn't say what it was, but did say it was something that was listed on her missing persons flyer, which would indicate possibly a piece of clothing since that most of what that was and that directly led them back to the house. Another interesting point is that they'd also talked to Cody Taylor. They'd interviewed him earlier in the week and searched his house as well. Incredible, really. Mm. That's so shocking. Great. Thank you. We still have so many questions and we're going to keep pushing for answers. We'll provide you every single update on the investigation as we get it on air and on the WSOC TV News app.